All right, so here he is, Suri Nobbs Jarzinho Rosenstrike, the first man or woman from his nation to compete on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. And this guy's done a whole lot more than compete since transitioning from kickboxing. He's been undefeated as a mixed martial artist. He was the UFC's Rookie of the Year in 2019. Alistair Overeem's got a story about this man's power, and perhaps tonight's opponent will have one to tell after the festivities tonight. Jarzinho Rosenstrike, Biggie Boy, is back for more tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 12 wins, four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Yazinho, Biggie Boy, Rose and Strike! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. One, we talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. They're certainly getting after it early. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very accurate. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. 
Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxers. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Trying to establish that jab once again. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Try to establish that jab. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. Huge block there. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Ooh, big shot, man. Slips that left hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice one, two there. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Beautiful punch. Just misses with the right. Got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Rosen strike gets caught with that punch. All right, single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big kick land. Straight punch land. Nice defense there. Huge block. Leg kick. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Fifteen seconds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? You gotta check. These low leg kicks. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking. But then when his opponent tried to straight combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, that right hand is on point. 
timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Rosen strikes lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Checks the leg kick. Big kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big head kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Nice kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. That's a big strike right there. Single collar tie there. Let's get going now. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And he continues to work the body here. Nice punch land over the top. Nice. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Visibly limping here. Big kick. Real quick leg kick. Blocks that strike. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Nice. Oh, big head kick. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Just misses with that one. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. 20 seconds to go round two. Lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Two rounds in the books. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. 
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Rosenstruck gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. That kick blocked by Biggie. Beautiful kick. Pretty good right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hit him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Nice punch there. Just over three minutes to go. Working out of that southpaw stance. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Rosen strikes lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, huge block! Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Now connects with the right. Just misses there with the left. Oh, big punch land. Nice head kick. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Rosenstruck. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Back to the jab now, no good. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Great punch. Caught that kick there. And they separate. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Set it up. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. We'll see if he can finish. Good stick. Single collar tie now. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Rose. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Right there, boy. Wow. 
It was a good night if that landed. Right, it looks like three, 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 three. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Nice punch lands. Oh, good combination. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Rosenstruck. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. What a body kick. Down the middle, down Head kick. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Just messing on the high kick there. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Good punch. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right punches there. Here's the kick blocked by Roses. He gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Rosenstrike gets caught with that punch. Oh, man, head to land. Plus right hand is true. in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Goes back to that left kick once again. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Under two minutes to go in the round. Lee gets caught with that punch. with the right hand. Hands higher, hands higher. strike gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Another punch to the head. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Rosenstrike's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Huge connection on the flying knee, DC. Now we'll see if the longer, taller fighter can move in and follow it up. Under a minute now to go. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Biggie. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. 
strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And they separate. 20 seconds to go. Big head kick lands. 10 seconds remaining in round four. Nice loop and punch. Rosenstrike gets hit by that kick to the body. Horn oh, sounds for the end of round four. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good enough. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's the gift to have fighters that are so evenly matched. That one snuck in. Nice strike. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Rosenstrike gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Lee's inner thigh a deep shade of purple at this point. Powerful leg kick land. Nice straight punch. Oh, connects with the one-two. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Back and forth we go. Nice head kick. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Amazing that we could get to this point of the fight and he did not show even a modicum of a sign of fatigue. Well, he's doing a very good job of managing his cardio. He doesn't throw everything with 100% power. He throws things to set up. He does a good job of knowing when to go and knowing when to slow down and it's showing. Look at his cardio. That's not even breathing yet. Three minutes now to go in this one. Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. This guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. Lands with a right hand. Oh! oh, oh. oh. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Unable to connect with a right hook. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, straight right. Well, he is completely gassed at this stage of the fight. I'm not sure if he's lost his will to continue, but might be time to just put that controller down and take a breather. I mean, he's gonna keep pressing those buttons for as long as he can. <laughs> You gotta get him out of there if you want it. He gonna keep on butt mashing. Right now, the butt mashing becomes even more dangerous because he's like a Wolverine that you cornered, and now all he can do is fight to try to win. Stop waiting. Get that high kick up there. Effective 
strike there by Pinky. One minute to go in the fight. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Just misses with a left hook there. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. There's that side kick. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon wins! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never